Hi, you guys. Um, this is pregnancy week 38, but I did not do 37, so I'm doing 37 also with this one. Change of scenery. Yes, I'm in my bathroom. It was real bright in here, so I just decided to, you know, do it in here in my bathroom. Anyway, um, update, um, we got some good news today, I went to the doctor today, today is Tuesday, the January the 26th, 2010, um, when I went to the doctor, I have not dilated anymore, I'm still a fingertip, as I already figured anyway, so, what is that, okay, anyway, I'm a fingertip, and, um, he told me that if I hadn't have not gone in labor by 39 weeks, which is next Tuesday, that he's going to induce me. So we're kind of excited about that. You know, kind of in it. We are excited. Um, I was praying that I wouldn't have to be induced because you know the fibroids. And I wanted to just go in labor, which I still can. You know, still possible because it's still a week away. So. Um, on Tuesday, I actually, no, on Saturday, 12 a.m. Saturday morning, I actually had to go to the emergency room. I was contracting. I was hurting really bad. I'm thinking, okay, maybe this is it. So my husband ran out and put the bags in the car. And my doctor was like, no, no, no. When you come on, you come straight here to the hospital, you know, because I need to check you. I don't know if you're actually in labor. It sounds like, you know, the way you're hurting, your contractions are coming very frequently. It sounds like you are in labor. So I went to the hospital, got there. I mean, contractions were like hitting back to back, like every two minutes. Get there, Bryson Hicks. Okay, I can't believe it. Um, one centimeter dilated. So they kept me for a couple of hours and watched me, and then they gave me some Demerol and Finnegan as far as, you know, to help with the, um, the pain or whatever. And I came on back home. So, um, I had my last non-stress test done today, and everything's fine. The baby looks really, really, really good. He looks great. So we're just waiting to see our little one. We are so excited. I mean, I'm just so psyched, so geeked up right now. I, I can't believe that the pregnancy is actually almost over, that it's drawing to a close, and it's been a long time coming. It's been a long road, a long rough road. I mean, so many ups and downs, and, you know, the first doctor I had, she told me that my pregnancy was just aborted itself, and the baby wouldn't make it, but to God be the glory, I'm still pregnant, and everything is going great, and... We are just ecstatic. Um, I did a couple videos while my husband was on his lunch break today. He is like so excited. We're just like, we can't believe that the time is actually here and we're about to be, we have a family. We have this little person that we're responsible of, of you know, guiding and, and, and teaching the right things and, and, you know, taking care of, taking care of the baby and caring for and providing for and this little person is a combination of both of us and it's just like, wow, it's overwhelming and it's such a beautiful thing and I'm not going to cry right now. I'm not going to cry. I'll cry later. <laughs> but we're just, I know I'm going to be a basket case when I do have him and our families are excited and, um, it's just, I don't know, it's, it's a, how come nobody ever told me, you know, all of my friends on YouTube, you guys, you didn't tell me that this feeling was just overwhelming me, you know, it's just a, I don't know, it's just a feeling of just, just, like, surrealness, I'm about to be a mother, I mean, nobody can ever take that away from me, you know. He's about to be a father and nobody can ever take that away from him. And, you know, like I said, together we have our own family. You know, something that, that God granted us because we prayed and we wanted a baby. And something God just, he granted us our wish. And um, 
he's kept us the whole time. The baby is great, even though, you know, it, it seemed like a couple times that, you know, he wasn't going to make it, and I was going to deliver early, and God has just really been awesome to us, but we are just so excited. Well, as far as um, my symptoms go for week 37, it's just about the same as, um, as 36. Um, I've had a lot of hip pains, back pains. Um, that's about it. Um, I actually feel better. Now, like the last past week, yeah, the last past week, I've been feeling like really, really good. The last past week, I mean, it's unbelievable. This is like the best I've felt the whole time I've been pregnant. You know, like I said, I didn't have any morning sickness, you know, but it was the other issues of, you know, the pains and the hurting with the fibroids. So, I mean, it's just, I don't know, I feel, I don't even feel like I'm pregnant. You know, I feel great, so. But I'm trying to think of anything else um, that I can tell you guys that has changed. Hmm. My tummy is measuring now about 48 inches around, which is pretty big. Um, last past few doctor's visits, I've, I've been losing weight. I don't know if that's normal or not, but... I've lost about five pounds. I don't see how. Because it's like, I guess it's just all going to baby, but I've lost about, yeah, about five pounds. So, uh, my tummy is still growing big time. I mean, like, wow. It's really, really big. I'm going to show you my tummy in a minute, but I can't think of anything else. Uh, I'm going to. I'll do another video later on to show you guys a little cart that I was talking about that we have in the nursery. So, I'll do another video doing that. So, um, okay, I guess I'll show you my tummy now. Okay, okay. Okay. Let me see here. Okay. Okay, let me pan this back some. Okay, this is the side of my tummy with the shirt on. Hold on. Okay, I think you guys can see now. This is the side. I have some stretch marks in the front, but hey, if that's the only problem I have, I'm not going to even worry about it. Some kind of way I'll be able to get rid of them. And then this is the front. And this is the other side. So... Um, hmm, my hips are hurting now. Oh, they hurt so bad. I can barely move. Um, I think that's about it. So, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Or if I left anything out, feel free to let me know. Um, I guess that's it. So I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.